derelict of my duty. <laughs> Where the army is left, and this is why we are holding on the people of Zimbabwe to say he is taking his feet a little bit longer than his is 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 due. So we want to make sure that he lives now. We want to see his back now. Mugabe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chris. Um, about Mugabe's non-resignation yesterday. Do you think the president has outwitted the military or do you think he is delusional? I would rather think he's delusion. Yeah, the military, these are very smart people. <laughs> this is one of, the, oh, you know, one of the most proficient armies in Africa because they are all coming from years of combat and years of retraining since the independence with uh, the Americans, with the British, with, uh, with the Chinese, with everybody. So we are very proud. Our army knows its duty and it knows it very, very well. That's why we are going to the coast to defend them. It's delusion more on the part. It's Jonathan and Grace and Kasukwere because he's living in, that great, he's living in his own cloud calculant. They are, they, they are, they, 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 they are cloistered in, in thinking that the situation can go back to what it was where they were running this country aground. It won't happen. So he's delusion more than anything else. He simply, I told you the emperor has no clothes. He, 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 he composes himself as if he's on Savile Road Street in, in London. He has no clothes. So, what did you think that it's delusion. It's delusion. What is it? We want the, the actions of the army to be seen in the context of defending the constitution of Zimbabwe. I will be giving you, I know, you know, the, 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 the state. It should be available very soon, but I can read it out if you want. Do you want to read it out? Okay, I'll be very quick. It's not long. It's a declaratory order which we are seeking, and the declaratory order says. It's the, the Mabu War Veterans Liberation War Veterans Association. And the respondents, who are the applicants, the respondent is the President of the Republic, the Minister of Defense, and the Commander of the Defense Forces, and the fourth respondent is the Attorney General. And the declaratory order which we seek says that the actions of the Defense Forces in intervening to stop the takeover of the first respondent's constitutional functions by those around him are constitutionally permissible and lawful in terms of Section 212 of the Constitution of the Republic of Zimbabwe. In that... They arrest the first respondent's abdication of constitutional function. Mugabe had literally abdicated his constitution. He was in, in, in dire dereliction of duty. Secondly, they ensure that non elected officials, specifically his wife, she was making pronouncements on the judiciary, on parliament, on anything, when she doesn't exist in the constitution of Zimbabwe. That woman is absolutely mad. She's clinically mad. So she. They ensure that the non-elected officials do not exercise executive, executive functions which can only be exercised by the elected constitutional functions, functionaries of the Republic of Zimbabwe. It is consequently ordered that the actions of the defense forces being constitutionally valid, second respondent has the right to take all such measures and that undertake all such acts as will bring the desired end to its intervention. Thank you. So we are literally, we are, we are just saying he, he had abdicated his responsibility. Yes. Um, you are making for that uh, there should be a protest in the city until the president uh, resigns. Yes. And you want uh, all the numbers to come together. Yes. So this is uh, coming against the backdrop of what uh, uh, Chinamasa said yesterday. That, what? Uh, is the and Mr. is the leader of a political party. We are from the War Veterans Association. We don't stop him as War Veterans Association, but in our view, that statement is regrettable in the spirit 
of which of that which we are moving. We want an inclusive Zimbabwean thing. We have reached out to everybody. You know, you ask the commercial farmers union, we are on the same page. You ask the diaspora, the diaspora is there. They are all here. We have been working together they, you know, they, on this. We saw the demonstrations across the world, the capitals in the last week. This is a Zimbabwean initiative as far as we are concerned. You know, we, will not, we are not here for the folly or myopia of political parties. No, we are the war veterans. We fight for a united front. We united people during the war. And we want a Zimbabwe in which marches forward in a, in, in, in a focused collective manner on this issue of removing Mugabe. So, Mr. Chinamasa, maybe he's offside, but we, we know we, the war veterans, I told you, we've got the pulse of the nation, and we think we've got the compass of the nation, too. Thank you. Um, Look, until Mugabe is impeached, he is commander in chief of those generals. So we don't want to make the you know the generals could not have started the We cannot continue to have the generals be seen as...